Welcome to Electron Line. Our next concept here is what we call the sector of a circle. If we find the center of the circle and then we draw a radius from there to the edge of the circle, then we draw another radius from the center to the edge, then we have an angle between those and let's call that angle theta. If we want to know the area of that, and if, by the way this section here is called a sector of a circle, if we need to find the area of the circle, we can find that by taking the ratio of the size of the angle to the circle of 360 degrees and multiply that times the area of the circle. So take the entire area of the circle, which is equal to pi r squared, and then multiply that times the, the, size, the ratio of the size of the angle to a 360 degree angle. The reason why we can do that is that the arc length of this to the whole circle is equal to the proportion of the angle to 360 degrees and that's why that equation works out. So let's use an example. Let's say that we have the radius of the circle to be equal to 5 and that the angle here is equal to 60 degrees and we want to find the area of that sector. Using the equation we can say that the area is equal to, well we have a 60 degree angle, divide that by 360 degrees and multiply it times pi times r, which in this case is 5 squared. Okay, 60 divided by 360, that's 1 sixth. So we can say that a is equal to 1 sixth times pi times 25. And at that point, you probably want to grab a calculator. 25 divided by 6 times pi, and that ends up being 13.09. All right, yes. So the area is equal to 13.09. And of course, that's square units, whatever the units happen to be. And that's how you find the area of a sector. And that's also how a sector is defined. That's how we do that. In, and that's how it's done. <laughs>